Fried to a proverbial crisp. Crude, but sadly quite effective. Sorry, there were Imperial soldiers wandering around. I had to hide for a bit. Is there a way to open this door without the codes? Oh, let me take care of that. We built an Emmanuel release just in case. Now where? It's awfully quiet in there. I hope everyone's all right. I have to get this door closed before the atmosphere contaminates the station. I'll meet you inside. The airlock's closed. We're safe. These are the people who attacked the station? Who are they? Individuals who draw on the dark side of the Force and have no mercy. We call them Sith. Like the ones on the Fortitude, when you rescued us. There must be somebody still alive. We built at a station to survive anything. Yes, here. Some of the science staff are in another wing, behind a security door. With luck, they got inside before the enemy spotted them. Maybe we can sneak them out? If there's... Oh no. Look, there's an entire group of Sith headed that way. If they get in, the scientists... It'll be like the Fortitude again. Just like I said, these Republic scum have bolt holes everywhere. Let's get rid of them before the Sith take credit. No, I won't let it happen again. I won't. Go, get my override code from the console and protect the scientists. I'll handle this. How can you have that kind of power? You're wasting time. You have to stop the Sith from reaching the scientists. Jedi, I can do this. Please, trust me. Like I trust you. Conserve your energy. Keep your mind focused and let the Force flow through you. I'll remember, I promise. Ah, you'll end up on a dissecting table for that girl. You'll have to catch me first. As I suspected, you have a talent for interrupting my work, Jedi. But you're not alone. That girl's here too, yes? Fascinating. What's her name? What's your interest in her? She's a curiosity. But she can wait. I am Lord Kairos, and you're supposedly a Jedi Master, though this is a poor beginning. Wouldn't Master Sayo or Yuan have your diplomats in line by now? A Jedi enslaved the bureaucrats, and they still don't trust you. Senator Grell didn't even bother making excuses for them, did he? It seems my conversations have been less private than I thought. I know you, Jedi. I know everything you've heard, everything you've done. I know you killed my servant, Arat, to save the girl. You fought so hard to save the Fortitude and Balmora, yet nobody respects you for it. I'll be interested to see where your path leads next, Jedi. Goodbye. Jelly Gook is that. Nakema self that. The enemy is gone. I'm a Jedi Master. You're safe with me. A sword in bell is minding Sajana. Hoje a jot that a domino. Uge ere took meditative es? It is a Jedi's duty to protect the innocent from harm. Up ara jale fon upa uda mastat. Mas miwa, koti lea fo leon. As edje edlin dolog as vol hoje. Hoge ne kunk, tole ras ege mas fonal es. Mege ite letet. Hoge ne kunk. Tole ras ege mas fonal es. Mege ite letet. I'd like to see the benefits of this healing technology you've discovered. Ahir nev nindi ment ki hoje. There you are, Jedi. 
See? I said I'd be fine. I checked the station. It's all clear. I'm heading back to the ship before Father starts fretting. I'll meet you there. Nicky Hoji on them kept visile. Kava tuta od mishka kaba no tase mawatila. We'd like to formally apologize for keeping attestation classified from you. Mistrust is a luxury we cannot afford. I regret not taking that to heart sooner. Please, please don't be angry with us. We're very grateful you saved the, the station. Though we'll need uh, t twice the guards to protect that medical research from the Empire. Spend the credits and hire them. Those medicines could be an investment for years. If you've all quite finished, the Jedi and I have matters to discuss. Alone. Thank you for protecting my Nadia. She told me you saw her outburst. I imagine you want an explanation. Her talents appear unique. What is she? I was almost hoping you could tell me. The Republic calls them Force Abilities, but to me they're Nadia's gifts. Her powers are stronger than many Jedi, but unpredictable. I hoped she would learn from you, from your experience. It's not uncommon for powerful Force sensitivity to run in families. Me? No, no. I don't have these powers, nor anyone we know back home. Nadia is special. Nadia is very fond of you. Please, be there for her as she gets through this. Now, Atter Station's researchers said a Lord Kairos contacted you. Didn't he order the attack on the Fortitude where we all met? Lord Kairos has been monitoring us since we left the Fortitude. That monitoring device Nadia found. It seems we do have a traitor on board. I should be able to sense any treachery through the Force. Naturally. Still, the evidence is there. Perhaps if we act normally, our guest will leave another clue. In the meantime, there may be another way for you to help the Rift Alliance. A group of our soldiers on Hoth has run into a difficult situation. If you believe I can help, then please, go on. Hoth is infested with pirates who harass our shipping lanes, so we formed a coalition force to handle them. A quick mission, we thought. But those pirates just can't be defeated, and the Republic won't spare any help. How could a group of pirates survive against a powerful coalition force? We're not sure. The reports we have from Hoth are odd. We can explain more when we arrive at Hoth. Until then, watch your back, Jedi. We're just getting clearance for Hoth, Jedi. Won't be a minute. Chut, chut! Pocachula! The Republic has a right to be careful. The White Moor is cunning, and a vast frozen wasteland is quite the place to hide. Who or what is the White Moor? The White Moor is the largest pirate band in the galaxy. A splinter group has been attacking the shipping lanes to our worlds. And the Republic won't waste more men to save them. Fools. Now there's a risk of mutiny. Our coalition might abandon Hoth altogether. How is it this White Maw is giving your soldiers so much trouble? The, the reports we've had are very, very strange. N none of them make sense. We're giving you command of our coalition force. Find out what's happening, and get rid of those pirates so our men can come home. The only soldier still bothering to send a daily report is Lieutenant Felix Ireso, the officer in charge. He's at the Republic base. With a little help, your coalition will finish those pirates and get out safely. There. That's what we've been hoping to hear. Ah, there's our clearance. Be careful, Jedi. Quite aside from the White Moor, Hoth's cold enough to freeze you solid. I'm telling you, LT, getting out today is our best chance. Maybe our only chance. Private Cree, I've noted your complaint. Twice. Now kindly put a sock in it before... Hey! See, guys? Just when it seems bleak, in walks a Jedi. Welcome. I heard some pirates were making life difficult for you. Perhaps I can assist. Sounds good to me. I'm Lieutenant Felix Oresso, the ranking officer. So he's a Jedi. Captain Valon will just tear him apart like Dask and Antilles. The private is referring to a White Maw foot soldier who became a major player overnight. When Valon and his followers started harassing the Outer Rim, they sent us in. The LT forgot the best part, Jedi. Valon can't die. 
Everything that lives, dies in its time. Bona pakisa. Te kalia shrek grula waska kwa bobana. We even collapsed an ice tunnel on Valon. Next day, he's fighting us again. Now he's stolen our thermal bore device. This is over. We're leaving today. Enough back chat. All of you, dismissed. Sorry. They're getting twitchy. Valon's putting up a fight, and he'll have plans for that thermal bore device. A thermal bore device doesn't sound like a weapon. The ice here is as thick as a Gamorrean skull. A thermal bore melts it fast for mining or building bases. Set that device in the wrong place, the ice shelf will crack, and this base is history. Recovering the thermal bore might help morale, but... my guys won't fight Valan again. These are trained professionals. Can't we appeal to their sense of honor? They need a victory. Any victory. Please, can you help me out and find that device? According to its transponder, the device is in an old Imperial science lab. It's not far. I'll be here, trying to stop a mutiny. Watch your back around Valan, Jedi. I've seen him fight, and it's not pretty. A Jedi. Perfect. You must be looking for me, Captain Valen. Soon to command every pirate on Hoth. But you don't have to kneel or anything. Please lay down your weapons, and tell your men to do the same. Well, since you ask so nicely... No. I was flattered. A whole coalition army sent just to kill me. But it got old, so I'm glad for something new. You know, I'm in a good mood today. Get going before I set the device off. Maybe you'll get far enough. The device could kill hundreds of people if it cracks the ice shelf. That's kind of the idea. Can't say I didn't give you a chance. I'm unique. The galaxy hasn't seen a man like me since Noc Drayan wiped out half the Hut cartel in one night. My legend's just begun. How about being the first Jedi I ever kill? Ugh, glad I don't have a sense of smell. That Valon looks like he needed a bath. Um, is it me, or was that brigand rather less immortal than expected? He has certainly become one with the Force. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps that oafish lieutenant has told his men too many ghost stories. No matter. We'd better take that device back and get out of this intolerable cold. Hey, you're back. With one thermal bore device, safe and sound. Maybe I can salvage this up after all. Seems Captain Valon met his match. Guess we softened him up for you, huh? Your men held out against a strong enemy without reinforcements. No easy task. Though you did need us to complete that task for you. Thanks for your help. When my guys get back, we... Huh, that might be them now. Thought I'd find you skulking there, Jedi. You're gonna pay for that insult. You and the Republic. I defeated you. I saw your corpse. Think you're pretty smart, don't you? Try your brain on this. We just found a heat exchanger for all the Republic bases. Might have ransomed it back, too. But since you crossed me, it's history. And you all freeze. That son of a... My men will be back from exercise soon. They can't know Valan's alive. Your men might help us unravel this mystery. No. If they catch on that Valan survived a duel with a Jedi, I'll have a mutiny on my hands for real. My men can't find out. I could take them to pick off Valan's scouting parties, build up their morale, but everyone will die without that heat exchanger. If Valan really is alive, I need those scouting parties gone. Leave the rest to me. You're right. Sorry, I've been doing stuff single-handed. The heat exchanger's in this location. There's a Republic outpost... here. We can use while we're tracking those scouts. Come report to us when the exchanger's safe. I don't believe in ghosts, but this is... Good luck. Excellent. In position and right on time. Good to know we still have well-informed friends. I wish we did. Perhaps they could have told us Imperial Commandos were sneaking about. 
Now, Jedi, our orders are to freeze you in carbonite, not kill you. So kindly surrender now. Your Empire usually goes to great lengths to kill Jedi. This time, only alive will do. But you're not going to cooperate, are you? Get him, and hold him still, or he won't survive the carbonite! No, please! I'm an engineer! I was just supervising the carbonite weapon! Please don't kill me! The informant didn't say you were some crazy super Jedi! Who's been passing on information about me? I don't know. They never showed their face. This anonymous tip said you'd insulted Captain Valon. The commandos planned to use you to lure him out. They needed you as bait. Said they had to get back the armor Valon stole. What's so special about Valon's armor? Hoth's covered in starship wreckage. We found advanced armor in a wreck and took it to our labs. That armor has a special healing mechanism. It heals any wound. They just got it working when Valon stole it. That's all I know, I swear. Can... can I go? One more question. Will this armor keep Valon alive no matter what I do? I don't know. They said Valon's invincible while he's wearing it. I'm never coming back to Hoth. I'm getting out of it. <sighs> I'm still bleeding. Please, great Jedi, could you heal me? I'll never make it to the landing pad like this. I cannot leave anybody in pain. Here, this will help. Yes, that's better. Thank you, Jedi. I'll never forget this. They tracked us back here, LT. Those scouts were coordinated. Captain Valon's still alive, isn't he? You lied to us. Were you in on this, Jedi? Yes, but I've discovered how Valon keeps surviving. It's too late for that. We always wondered how you escaped the Imps, LT. Now this? We... we're not gonna stay here and die. Talk or shoot, Private. Don't try and do both, okay? You're in command, Jedi. I keep very special punishment chores for soldiers who step out of line. Maybe that will teach him to respect the chain of command. Congratulations, Kree. You get to chip ice off the Calm Tower's aerials for a week. Yes, yes, sir. But Kree's right. We can't stop Valon. No one can! Everyone listen. Valon's only advantage is that he knows something you don't. An advantage he's now lost. He wears healing armor he took from an Imperial lab. Without it, he's just another man. So, Valan's secret is this special armor. Huh. You know, we did get intel about an Imperial lab hidden nearby. If the Empire was studying that armor, we might find information there. If you knew this lab was there, surely you could have destroyed it. We didn't have the numbers. The place is crawling with guards. A frontal assault would really cost us, but we could handle the guards while you get inside. Or, we could try luring them out, get them lost in the snow. Risky, but less risky than fighting. It's your call. Draw them out into the snow. Don't fight unless you have to. Minimal casualties and we get to be sneaky. Outstanding. All right. We take the guards, you get in and see what you can find. I'll find you when we're clear. Everyone, get your gear! We're hitting both Valon and the Empire on this one. Ha! Yes. You. Too late. I heard you were coming after the regenerative armor, and I've destroyed my notes. You'll learn nothing. I want the name of your informant. Now. You... you don't scare me. We're secure. The guards are lost, but two of my guys are missing too. We're looking for them. I claim immunity. Under Section 1138 of your Republic Charter. You cannot coerce or harm a political prisoner. Uh-huh. But Hoth isn't in the Republic now, is it? Rest assured, we are always mindful of the canons of the Republic. I don't know, Jedi. Hang him up in a wampa cave and he might start talking. But... you wouldn't dare. 
You're bluffing. Enough, Lieutenant. Doctor, helping us could make the difference between being a Republic prisoner or a guest. Well, I... I'd want private quarters. With a lab. And... Holonet access. I can't guarantee everything. But Jedi recommendations carry a lot of weight. <laughs> I didn't expect you to be so reasonable. Now, the armor. You know Valen's armor has a unique healing function, yes? But that function can be... overstressed. If Valen was mortally injured several times quickly, the healing function would shut down, leaving him vulnerable. Can the armor's healing functions be shut down any other way? No. They are too sophisticated. This is a crude method, but it will work. Sorry to interrupt, LT. We've spotted a group of Valen's men. They're headed for a scavenger's camp. Should we engage them now or wait for you? Cut off their escape route and hold back until I arrive. Yes, sir. I'll pass it on. Wait! Your Republic Charter states prisoners must be cared for. Without my equipment, this lab will soon freeze. Forget it. I'm down two men already. I'm not wasting another to escort you home. If we ignore the Republic Charter, we're no better than him. You can spare one man. Okay, okay. I'll send someone for him, but we'd better get to that camp. I've got an update. This is big. Our scouts tracked the pirate's trail back to the starship graveyard. Right to a dreadnought. The thing's a fortress. That must be where Valen's hiding out. And he won't just be sitting there. These scavengers use special gear to get salvage out of the ice. Valan's men went straight for it. I think Valan's planning to raise the old Republic dreadnought from the graveyard. Then he'd have his own flagship. With his healing armor and a ship that size, every pirate on Hoth would join him. Yeah. We have to get in there. This'll be rough. That class of ship used heavy security doors as choke points. Plus the scouts reported lots of pirates. Wait, LT. Jedi, you've put yourself on the line for us over and over. Valon wants that ship to fly, right? So what if we hit the engines? He'll send his men to protect them. That'll work. We'll keep Valon's men out of the way, Jedi. You finish him for us. Thank you. Watch your backs and help each other. I want you all back alive. I'm with them, Jedi. Right now, I... I wouldn't want to be shoulder to shoulder with anyone else. Our radios won't work out here, but I'll send you an alert when we've disabled the engines. We'll join you if we can. Find some way past those security doors and get to Valan. I just hope I'll be there for the finish. That's far enough, Jedi. The pirate Valon is ours. And so is that armor he borrowed. I heard that Valen took the armor from under the Empire's nose. It was a loan. The armor made him the perfect weapon to attack the Republic and your little coalition. Unfortunately, Valon's becoming a nuisance. He needs to be put down. We're taking that armor back if we have to rip it off Valon's body. You're not in any position to stop us. They're stubborn, Valen. But when the flagship is ready, the rest of the White Maw will follow. We... Who's that? Someone who can't take a hint. I was hoping you'd be here for this. See? Some in the White Maw see that I'm the future. When this ship is raised, I'll have a whole planet of followers. You're no pirate, Lord. You're just a thief with a set of healing armor. Who wiped out dozens of your soldiers. The White Maw is mine, along with this ship. When she takes to the sky, the outer rim is going to tremble before... What the... That, Captain, is our signal that Lieutenant Duresso has disabled the flagship's engines and killed your men. But please, keep boasting. Nice, Valen. No, no, you can't do this. I'm untouchable. Even death can't take me. This blind faith in your armor has poisoned your mind. It's not too late to save yourself. You're the one who needs saving. You're finished, Jedi. It's... 
It's gone. You broke... Ah. That's music to my ears. Hello, Valon. I've been waiting for this since we buried Antilles. Just hold on, Jedi. I got a deal for you. Hear me out. You're hardly in a position to try anything. Speak. Your Rift Alliance needs help, right? I got men, ships, equipment. I could attack the Empire's trade routes for you. You had better be joking. The armor's broken. But you'd get the pick of what I got left. You can have my oath right now. You must answer for the men you killed. And that means you finally get to enjoy some Republic hospitality, Valon. Thank you, Jedi, for everything. Meet us back at the Republic base. We'll get our guest where he belongs. Jedi! We've been waiting for you! We wanted to thank you before we left. We owe you our lives, and I probably owe you my career. It was worth it all to see Valon stuffed in a convict shuttle. It was an honor to work alongside you. Go well. Oh, forgot. The LT got a call. He's gone up to your starship to make a report. He said he'd meet you there. Whatever anyone says, you're one of us now, Jedi. Best of luck. Quite a story, Jedi. If we'd known the pirates had such technology, at least you were there to make the mission a success. Nagula. Ji wanta humpa muli ra wata wampa. He was at my mercy. The Jedi Code required I spare him for judgment. Yuna liska chananga, wa chi kospa, ini kontika. We're forgetting someone. Good work, Lieutenant Ereso. We'll make sure the Republic rewards you before you're reassigned. Actually, sir, as a reward, you could persuade my superiors to assign me here, if that's okay. It'd be an honor to serve with you. Plus, an extra blaster never goes amiss, right? There's most certainly a place for you here, Lieutenant. Thanks. I like the way you get things done. Excellent. It's settled, then. I'm sorry. Could you excuse us for a moment? You mentioned someone on Hoth was sending the Empire information about you. Perhaps Private Cree was just desperate enough to alert the Empire. I think it was someone on board. Since I found that monitoring device, I've been watching our communications. I spotted a message to the Empire in amongst other messages while the channels were busy, but I can't trace who sent it. The monitoring device? The messages? Lord Kairos' inside knowledge? Our traitor can work our communication system. Perhaps someone has communications experience they haven't disclosed. Alani can handle a dozen messages at once. Maybe it's her. No, no. Alani sticks to her personal channel. Ty only got a call or two before he left. Duan never speaks to anyone. A Selkath could easily avoid suspicion after what the Empire did to them. Hmm. Maybe before attestation. But now Shuru won't hear a word against you. You know... Blasis gets an awful lot of work from the Aragorn bureaucracy, and a lot of calls. Wait, when you were on Hoth, and someone leaked those messages, Blasis was sending reports everywhere. What if he alerted the Empire, then? Even if Blasis isn't responsible, he could point us in the right direction. Wait here. I'll see where he's got to. No, it couldn't be Blasis. I just sent him on a mission. I meant to surprise you, Nadia. King Sethan and Queen Niska themselves are donating a regiment to the Republic. This King and Queen are your homeworld's rulers? Yes, yes, that's right. The royal family wanted to heal relations between the Rift Alliance and the Republic. They thought donating troops would help. They planned a ceremony on Waypoint Station 3 to present you with the soldiers. But you were needed on Hoth, so I sent Blasis as our envoy. He's with the King and Queen right now. Tell the Royals to stay with their soldiers until I arrive. There's no answer. Jedi, what have I done? I'll contact Ty. His droids can guard the Royal Family until we get there. Be sure he knows our suspicions, just in case. Will do, Jedi. Let's go.